get to the next topic, though, the last one of the day. Breaking down the Raiders versus 49ers game this Saturday. It's uh, 49ers at Raiders. Um, in Las, So, obviously, in Las Vegas. They're going to Vegas. And this should be a decently big game. There's a lot of ties tied into these two teams because Raiders used to be from the Bay, so a lot of rivalry here. Uh, what are your keys for this game? Keys for this game? Well, <laughs> looks like it should be a cakewalk. I'm not one to say that things are going to be a blowout before they happen, yeah. but things aren't looking good for the Raiders if, if Derek Carr is not playing in their quarterback's Jarrett Stidham, who oh I didn't gosh. know anything about, and I was talking to my friend about him before the show started. Who is this guy? And he was trying to tell me he was terrible at Auburn, and, and he wasn't that great at Auburn, and he's been bouncing around. He was on the Patriots, and I, I, something's telling me with this Raiders team that there's, there's some dis- dysfunction going on. I mean, surprise, surprise, it's the Raiders, right? Um, obviously, there's you know you mentioned the whole rivalry thing because I live in the yeah I lived in the Bay Area for a long time. I live in Northern California now, but it's of course sure that that whole thing with you know Raider fans always talking smack to Niner fans and back and forth. That's always going to be there. That's cool and fun, but you know as far as any build up or any hype for this game, I mean it looks like the Raiders are just throwing in the towel for the season. I don't know if Derek Carr said something to McDaniel's. I don't know if he said something to the front office. There, there's something going on there because it's just crazy that that car is getting benched for some, you know, some some weak quarterback, and they're expecting to go into this game. I don't know what's going on with that team. And as far as matchups, I mean, sure they got Max Crosby. He's a great, great pass rusher. That's somebody you got to keep your eye out for. They got Chandler. Jo- is Chandler Jones healthy now? Or I thought he was. Uh, yeah, he was. Better. Well, I thought. Well, he played in the Patriots game. He had that uh, touchdown or whatever. That yeah. Oh, yeah, made. that's right. Man. That was actually pretty funny, though. I, I can't stand the race. I grew up hating them, but yeah, I thought that was one of the funniest plays ever. There's um, there's this funny play where that they it was a funny video look at, that's on Instagram. The where backwards they show, pass. Yeah, yeah. Like they a- showed the backwards pass play with Chandler Jones, and <laughs> they mixed it with a play from um from the Water Boy, and it was literally the same exact thing. The Water Boy that happened. Where, yeah. they, where they threw the backwards pass the wrong way to the D lineman and he ran it for a touchdown. So it was just that was just hilarious seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys all probably know what we're talking about. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> well, you I, I was COVID. actually coughing. I, I actually have a slight bit cold, so that's my bad. Uh, but, okay, okay. It's that time of year, man. People getting sick. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Second time in like a month, but sucks. Whatever. Um, the Raiders. They, I think, you know, if the 49ers do end up getting down in this game, which I highly doubt it, no need to worry. The Raiders have given up four, 10 or more um, point leads at halftime. So that's a huge one. Um, and their run game genuine, uh, generally hasn't been that great. They're one of the la- bottom 10 team, uh, 4.3 yards per carry. And this is like the 49ers have faced so many opponents this year that don't have a good run game. And if you're against the 49ers and you don't have a good run game, there's no way that you were going to match up with the 49ers and going to win this game because it's just such a, I mean, the 49ers run game is a really good run game. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So that's a big thing. And their secondary is terrible. The only, the only thing that I will say that the Raiders could have on us is their pass rush is really good. I mean, they have Crosby and Chandler Jones, but their pass game is terrible. Pass defense, 67%. Uh, allowed to quarterbacks this season, which is a completion rate, which is, I believe, a bottom five team in the NFL. So uh, that's my only concern is the defensive ends could get a lot of pressure on Purdy. But we've shown in the past that we can kind of avoid that pressure by rollouts and whatever and whatnot. So uh, I think I think we get this game done handsomely 30 to 17 Niners win. Yeah. Yeah. Offensively, they're not too bad. They score a little over 23 points a game. Uh, but their their defense, <laughs> I think they give up even more points per game than they score. So they're just not too, they're not that great on defense. And even though they do have Max Crosby, like you said, their secondary is not that great. Yeah. Uh, I actually thought their running game would be a lot better because you know Josh Jacobs is a pretty good running back, but I guess he doesn't I get know. much help elsewhere. Well, and they do have some talent, Devonte Adams. But like even with Devonte Adams, you have a quarterback who's throwing to you who I don't think is going to be able to get him the ball. So it's like. I mean, he's probably not going to be a non okay. I had something in the back of my head that Chandler Jones got hurt. And Tommy Alexis said, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones got hurt. 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 Chandler Jones got hurt